Linda, oh. tell me oh. everything. Oh, oh Mort, I'm telling you, to be in dinner theater, if I could do my life over again, if I could, ugh, if I could just have one chance. You'd do that. Linda, yeah. what are you talking about? You've got a great life. Welcome back to Feast on the Film. Today we're gonna be continuing our Bob's Burger Burger book recipe series where we try to plow through all 71 recipes in this book. Today we're on the fourth burger in the series and the name of the burger is a totally radish burger. Let's feast. A totally radish burger is simple yet unique. Sort of like our favorite animated chef, Bob. <gasps> Take a good long look, Rabbit. The ingredients are minimal. You need some radishes, some cream fraiche, a cucumber, some minced up fresh dill, ground beef, and some buns. All of these should be easy to find in your local grocery store. We start by removing one radish from the rest of its family and slicing it up. You'll want a couple very thin slices to go on top of the burger, and the rest will be mincing to be added to the mixture we are going to make. We're going to repeat the same process with the cucumber. We're almost done with the mixture, but I'd say the most important part is probably the dill. So I'm gonna cut this up and then we'll add the cream fresh and we'll start mixing. This is my first time using cream fraiche and I was surprised by how thick it was. Similar to sour cream, but more mild in flavor. We got the meat to form the patty. We're just gonna salt it, we're gonna put some pepper on it, and then we're gonna throw it straight onto the cast iron pan to sizzle it up. Before I start cooking this burger though, who's your guys' favorite Bob's Burgers character? They're all so good, but for me it's Bob and Louise. Next, we are going to slice two equal buns and throw them into the toaster to warm them up and to get a nice crunch. Toast it up. Now, let's warm the burger. You know how we do on this channel, guys. First, we put the lettuce down first. And the fat, juicy burger. Take our mixture from earlier. Top it off. And then garnish with some thin thought. Garnish with some thin slices of the radish. And then maybe a little pinch of dill to go on top. Back in my bag and I got a brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no staring well. There's nothing to do but to take a big ass bite. Hmm. I would give this one, I would give this one a seven out of 10. I'd say it's the third best out of the four I've made so far. Not too bad. Definitely not my favorite. Turned out pretty all right. It's a, it's a very earthy one. Um, and I think that the dill, it's supposed to taste this way though. I think it's, it's supposed to be very like, um, gardeny. That's how I describe it. You know, it tastes, it tastes very healthy, which, you know, some people probably really enjoy, but yeah, overall, not too bad. I would definitely, I would definitely give it a shot. So there you have it guys. Four burgers down, uh, 67 more to go. Bob's Burgers is one of the best shows on the planet, but you know, what else, what other adult animation shows do you guys like to watch? Let me know in the comments. Check out the channel in the future for episode five. We're going to knock out all these burgers. Thanks for watching. Peace.